Pat, can you tell us something about the album? Well, the album is a 12-track album. Um, there's one original song on it. It's a song called F I've Got Fame, I've Got Fortune that was written by Pat Emrose up in Limerick. And uh, it's a nice foxtrot after getting good at play and it's getting good feedback about it, you know. Is How many albums have you got to date? I have three of them. Three albums, uh, all going fairly well, thank God. And business is good for you here? It is good, yeah. It is, oh, yeah. It is good. No. In recent times, Pat, you've had a hit single all about Middleton. Can you tell us something about that? That's right. Um, Sweet Middleton was written by a chap called Bill Daly, um, a local man here in Middleton. Uh, he wrote it. Um, I bought it out last year as a single. Um, yourselves came down and videoed it in different locations around Middleton Town. And uh, you put it up on Hot Country, which I got good feedback about. And I believed in that it's gone into uh, YouTube. And I believe that it's after getting a good few thousand uh, hits right, on YouTube. It's a very, very popular How song. How do you pick songs for an album? It is, I'll tell you, it is hard enough. You'd have loads of songs, but when you come down to picking out 12, it's a difficult choice. Um, you must kind of pick what people want at your dance venues, you know, and pick the songs that people would like and kind of take it from there, you know? I suppose you're, you, you're tested out first during the dances to see how it goes down and then... Well, the fa that I, going back to that Fame and Fortune song, that's gone down very, very well now at the dances. Mm. And is that available on an album? It's on the new, the new album. That's great. Is, yeah, that's it's great. Well, Pat, we wish you the best luck for the future and continue. John, tell us about the radio, first of all. Yeah, CRY 105 and Community Radio, y'all, is broadcasting for over 30 years. It's broadcasting to the relationship of West Waterford and East Cork. And uh, we have over 11,000 listeners on the last uh, media poll carried out. And also available, of course, on the internet worldwide. Worldwide, exactly. And I do two shows there. I do the show of a nostalgia show every Sunday, 3 to 5. And it's a huge listenership, worldwide listenership as well. One of the few show band shows that is on uh, local radio now and of course uh, national radio as well and then I do the GR Country show on a Monday night which is hugely popular and that's on from 7 until 10. And John give us the website address? Uh, it's um, www.cry105 uh, in community radio y'all. Right. How do you see the country music in Ireland at the moment? Is it going well? I think country music is going very very well in y'all uh, and of course nationally as well and indeed uh, I think that uh, Country music will always be there. It's part of the heritage, uh, part of our Irish heritage, and of course, it'll be, it's the music that uh, we all come to love and love so much. And of course, there's a lot of new artists coming on as well. And I think there's a great tribute due to yourself in Hot Country as well on Channel 201 for your publicising and of course, uh, giving a platform to all our local artists and of course, our national artists as well uh, all over Europe. And you're doing the same on the radio, of course. You're giving all the new artists that very, very important break that they normally would not get maybe with the national radio. Um, you get a lot of, I suppose, material every week. How, how do you actually choose what to play? And what well, what play? I do is um, I listen to what's popular, right? People be ringing me in and they're looking for various different requests as well. And I try to include a lot of new material as well on my show, right? Indeed, to give every all new artists that are coming up uh, to the scene as well a great chance because there's a lot of artists there for quite a long time as well. Now, we're not saying they're not popular. They're very popular indeed and of course like Declan Nerney and um, Robert Mazel and Mike Denver and all of those artists will be there for a very long time but there are new artists coming along as well and of course the listenership like to hear the new material also being played on the station. Because John only for the new artists the business wouldn't keep going in the first place. Exactly it needs a freshening up now and then. Well that's it for another Hot Country show I hope you enjoyed the music remember if you want to contact us you may do so by emailing hotcountry at hotmail.co.uk until next week, same time, same place, keep it country. Sweetie's fun, and you'll never want to leave sweet Middleton.